Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my uncle, Al Tima. Man, before we even begin, we need you all to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, hit the notification bell, all right? That's very important. Man, we're getting right to it. We're sitting here watching the NBA tip-off. The Brooklyn Nets versus... It's preseason. <laughs> Golden State Warriors, and it's ugly, man. It, it, it's very ugly and it, it's just one narrative that we just need to speak about because we understand Golden State are not who they once were but Steph what's going on what, what do you see what I see is what I always seen and and to say this is it sounds ridiculous Steph Curry is overrated and, and and the reason why you gotta understand the pedestal that they put him on, they put him on a pedestal as if, I mean, they were saying he was better than LeBron, they saying he better than KD, they were saying he's better than all these dudes who I seen have to play without other players. No doubt. And, and here he is, he's going through the month. He looked like he was the rookie tonight. Where is this? Where is the leadership? Where is the, you're a point guard. Have you seen him take control of the game to calm them young boys down? If we want to say that they're young, the, the new Golden State Warriors, which, I mean, Clay is not there, Green is not there. It's the first game of the season. But I'm upset. You know why I'm upset? Because this, this is the NBA opening night. The NBA need to apologize for even putting them on. I seen Steph do this last year, man. I seen him do this last year where early everybody was coming at him. It was different. Now, Brooklyn didn't even really come at him. He never made a presence in this game at all. He looks lost out there. Like, um, he needs ball handlers. You're a point guard. Why is other people running the offense? But it's always been that way, whether it was Iggy, but, Draymond. But they claim that it, 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 it's just, a, you know, what. But we know. I always knew. But you know what? That, that's sad. You know why I'm really upset? I'm so upset because I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Mm. I came off his neck because I'm always on, on, on Steph's neck. I came off his neck out of respect of being in the finals five years straight and winning three of them. Never was the MVP in, in, in those finals, but... It looked like like Steph was, come on, man. And for me to be saying this, and if you if you on, if you're only blinded to the past, and not seeing that you forgot this pedestal that they put this guy on, man. Yeah. Now, now, it's one game, right? I know, but do you think I saw this, this last a, year. Is that a preview of for the rest of the season? This is what we're gonna see from him. I hope not. Yeah, all right. I can't. Same here. I really hope not. Yeah. Because if and if that is, the NBA need to hurry up. No, don't say it. Hurry up and change Golden State national televised games. It, it's, they should not be on TV, man. They look they look bad, man. Yeah. And, and for, for for I don't know how I got hyped on thinking that they would be better than they what what they was. But when I was looking at the the lineups and the rotations and what was on the floor and don't ever get get it twisted that I thought Wiggins was gonna, cause I never believed in Wiggins. Yeah. I never believed in Wiggins. But as bad as even the fact that you never believed in him to see him play, he's lazy, lack of days. But Steph played just like him. Yeah. And, and am I a Steph hater? I used to think so. Maybe you're just a realist. That's that's what it is yeah. because with all the. During the great seasons with, with him, when everything was clicking, it, he never really he impressed me, but he didn't impress me to the point to where the pedestal that people put him on. Yeah. And I never felt he was there. I, I know he's good for what he does, but you know what's really missing? It's not just Clay who covered up a lot of stuff from him, as I st stated on the last episode, but Iggy is not there. Ball. 
he came in, he ran the offense. The ball was mostly in his hands or Livingston's hands. And Steph was doing exactly what you saw him doing tonight. And with Clay, you got to space, space, space the floor. We, and I'm, I'm only talking without the presence of KD. Because when KD came, with that, with the, with the pieces they had, that made them pretty much unbeatable. But they made it about Steph Curry. And it wasn't. And to me, until, um, until he showed me something different, when he don't have... These other stars, he's overrated. Listen, it's one game. I'm one game. It, he looked it's not one out game, there, but 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 at the same time, he's I'm not upset. getting any younger. Maybe this is who he is at this particular time. Until he gets a ball handle out Are there. Are you saying he's too old? I'm not saying he's too old. Oh. but without the pieces that he once had. It's going to be it's, hard for him because he needs to be the facilitator and a scorer now. It's understandable. And he doesn't have that mentality. That's understandable. Yeah. That's exactly understandable. But they put him on that pedestal. <laughs> and Well, they are wrong 90% of the time, whoever they are. They, the they, world. They, they just need it. The world? Well, listen, who was number one at the time? Or they needed somebody... When, I'm not even mentioning. I'm not no. even mentioning that the fact of of LeBron, no doubt. because that's what it's all going to come down to. Mm. It's going to come down to the fact that because I'm a Le- LeBron James fan, this is why. No, I'm an NBA fan. I'm a fan of the game. Yeah. And you from, sound disgusted. I'm. This opening night, man. <laughs> not the first time you're seeing this. I didn't see. Plenty of teams get blown up. I'm upset. Oh, yeah. No, I'm yeah. upset. It's star power. You, you tuned in because the staff, he hasn't played in quite some time. And you're I wanted to be more. previewing highlights of this game. No doubt. And here we are, rambling. I'm, I'm out here acting like, like Stephen A. <laughs> Smith, yeah. screaming and carrying on because it's opening night. I don't have you're any words. a star. I don't have any words, man. You're, you're a star. Yeah. You lose the game, okay. You get blown out like this with no effort? Nah, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, man. Anything else you need to say? Because I, I what is it? He messed up our whole the whole recording. We everything we wanted to record <laughs> was about highlights. Yeah. Highlight of what? It's the game is still going on right now. We we decided we're gonna record it now because there's nothing to talk about and yeah. about this game. How can you say? Listen, we're a fan of the games. We do this just because. Without cameras. Without, without pay. Yeah, without. These dudes get paid. Steph got a a max contract. We take our time to watch this. We look forward to this. For that? No. He didn't get. I, I see if he gave an effort. He was. But he's always played that way, lackadaisical, free with the ball. But when you're a dominant team, you those he's not a dominant team. We not understand more. But you're supposed to be a star, no doubt. You, you you make a difference in a team. Where were you leading these young, lost players? Yeah. You're the veteran on the squad. You're the star veteran on the squad. Super where star. were you? And you play point guard. But I never seen you run. Anything, grab, get, come, get the ball, settle these young boys down, and and let's just compete. Let's play some some type of basketball that makes sense. This is just like watching people play ball in the youth center. That's what it was like. Oh, blame it on the pandemic or the bubble like atmosphere. I'm. I, I have nothing else to say about this. We supposed to have been doing a free, uh, the, producing to you guys, our fans, what we call free throws. And the free throws is highlights that we want to give to you with analysis. S- with, with analysis, we. What can I give you? What can I give them? I can't give them anything. Nothing. Nothing. I'm upset. You should be. And in addition to Steph, we're getting up out of here. In addition to Steph, 
Steve Kerr, please get your rotations together, man. You're supposed to be a great coach. Oh. You took over Mark Jackson's job. Everybody claimed that you were so great. Where was that ball movement and all that? And I don't want to hear nothing about that. Oh, he's a young team. No, them, 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 them players played for him last year. Yeah. They should have learned something. You, Mark Jackson, you took his team right when he had developed them to where they need to be, and now you come in and you get all, all right off his like, – like you – well, it's funny how things work out. Now he needs to develop a team, and we're about to find out if he can. I don't I don't see it. And I agree. So there you have it. Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Steph, you got to do better. You got to do better, baby. But tonight wasn't it, man. No. It wasn't it. No. As you can see, my aunt highly upset. But we still have another game after this, the Battle of L.A. Hopefully, we have a great game, and uh, we'll get back to y'all uh, with another episode. This is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I'm your host, Earl Tima, alongside my host, co-host, Alan Tima. And uh, this wasn't it. No. Y'all be good.